Hello everyone, it's Agnes. Welcome to our channel, so happy to see you here. I would like to introduce to you today a new project that is part of the collaboration with other YouTubers, so please make sure to visit them after you see mine. Our team um, is uh, Cake Tupper. I've been asking you on my Facebook page for some help because I couldn't figure out, but then with your input and um, all your comments, everything started to come together. So my goal right now is to, as you saw, uh, this is the uh, plastic plate from Dollar Tree that I would like to match patch the fabric on, onto. So let's hope I am going to be successful. As you can see, I am not really that good with the mud patch, but you know what? I am not giving up. Eventually, I'm going to figure it out. And the goal, I don't know if I am telling you something you already know, but the goal is to simply apply a lot of the mud patch on a plate and actually on the fabric to make sure that everything nicely um, sticks. And as you can see, is you, there was a little bit of a white, um, you know that was peeking through the plate but that the match patch is drying um clear so we are not going to see it so all what i'm doing here is just patting it all to make sure that everything is nicely together Okay, so now as this is drying, it's time to paint our candlestick that of course I've got it at the Dollar Tree. I, at the beginning I thought I am going to spray paint it, but then I decided to simply use my acrylic chalk paint to cover uh, my stick because I my goal was to maybe, I, I actually do not have a plan yet, but uh, I am thinking that I'm going to send it a bit to have the distressed look. Because if you follow me, you do know that I do like that farmhouse rustic look to any projects that I do. So now I just need to peek at my table, uh, my uh, plate, uh, and it seems it's drying nicely. But I would like to prep that plate a bit um, because the drying process, it, I mean, it's going to take me a while. But I do want to finish that project. So all what I'm doing now is just simply trimming the excess excess of uh, my drop cloth all around the plate to to start a step, the next step. You are not going to believe what I'm going to use right now. These are actually fasteners that are used to support the box um, in a shipment. And I actually had them, a couple of them lying around. So I washed them and I decided to use them. All what I need to do here is just to measure uh, my length to make sure they are covered uh, perfectly. And then we are all set. I'm going to actually cover those fasteners with the lace that you see on my table and then um, with the help of the uh, glue um, simply attach to the side of my plate see I'm just trying to reinforce to make sure that everything dries perfectly so nothing sticks out and now it's time to see now my fasteners are um, covered with the pretty lace that I also got it from Dollar Tree and now it's time to gently apply a hot glue all around the edges.
Oh, I love it how it looks. Now I just gotta make sure that my lace is nicely secured and it's time now to decorate. And what I'm going to do is use my wooden beads, the smallest one, the ones that are usually um, not really needed in a lot of projects. So I have a whole bag, so I decided simply trim it all around. For your convenience, I will add the link to those beads right in my description um, under this video. So make sure to check it out. That is actually this whole process of installing the uh, the beads with the uh, hot glue is so rewarding because um, I am just loving it what I'm seeing on the side. So bear with me, it's almost done. So what I'm doing here is trying to hide that little connection where my lace on the fasteners, it was just simply connected and I'm installing a bigger bead with the tiny ones um, on the side. I think that's going to be a really nice little detail. So now it's time to work on our um, candle holder or whatever that is, <laughs> the stand of our cake topper. So now I would like to bring a little bit back uh, of my uh, wrap cloth right to the top of it, wrap it a little bit and finish this off with, if you guess the beads, you're right, yes, finish this off with the beads. I think that will nicely um, tie all together. I just love it how that looks don't you think so and I'm like really loving those beads and I'm thinking actually maybe I should have do it still on the bottom but I think I am going just simply drop it and I'm not going to do it so now the time has come we need to attach the bottom to our plate and hope for the best this is actually the Gorilla Glue that I'm using but I think I am going to use E600 um, later I am so scared to pick it up, but let's hope, pray for me, it's working. I guess it's enough time. Here we go, it is moving. I'm still scared to move around. I love it. 
Now I think I need to finish a little bit the, uh, the base when it touches and uh, lace will be appropriate since it's already on the top. So that my little detail so it does not show the hot glue. Um, and the connection between this, it's going to have a nice finish. What do you think? Now it's almost done. I am really excited. Look at that detail. Don't you just love it? I am all about the details. Love every single bit of it. Hope you enjoy my little makeover of the Dollar Tree cake topper. Um, and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notification when a new video comes up.